dear students this is my fourth video lecture on chapter overview of income tax in india for subject tax procedure and practice paper 1 class first year bcom semester 1 veer nirmit south gujarat university in this video lecture we will solve one example of computation of taxable income and tax liability for different category of individual here is the question following are the details of income and investments for the financial year 2019-20 assessment year 2021 particulars of income and amount income from house property rupees 3 lakh income from business rupees 9 lakh income from other sources taxable at normal rate rupees 1 lakh deductions under chapter 6a rupees 1 lakh calculate the income tax liability for the financial year 2019-20 if the tax payer is number 1 50 years old number 2 65 years old and number 3 81 years old from this information we will calculate taxable income for the financial year 2019-20 first here is the computation computation of taxable income person resident previous year 2019 20 and assessment year 2020 21 particulars of income and amount income from house property rupees 3 lakh income from business rupees 9 lakh income from other sources rupees 1 lakh so gross total income amounts to rupees 13 lakh less deductions under chapter 6a rupees 1 lakh so net income or taxable income of a person amounts to rupees 12 lakh dear students taxable income will remain constant rupees 12 lakh for all three category of persons 50 years 65 years and 81 years old then now we will compute tax liability for all these three category of persons Here is the computation of tax liability if an SSC is 50 years old. Calculation of tax liability on taxable income of rupees 12 lakh. Our first column is net income range. Second column taxable income. Third column tax rate applicable. Fourth computation and fifth tax amount. For 50 years old SSC, our basic exemption limit is rupees two lakh fifty thousand. So up to rupees two lakh fifty thousand, there would be no taxable income and no tax amount. Our second income range would be two lakh fifty thousand one rupees to rupees five lakh. So the difference between two higher and lower range is rupees two lakh fifty thousand. and our applicable tax rate is 5% and computation to like 50000 multiply 5% that is rupees 12500 our third income range is rupees 5 lakh 1 to rupees 10 lakh and difference between higher range and lower range is rupees 5 lakh our tax rate applicable is 20% and computation rupees 5 lakh multiply 20% that is rupees 1 lakh and last range would be above rupees 10 lakh in our case our taxable income is rupees 12 lakh so above 10 lakh that is taxable income rupees 2 lakh that is 12 lakh minus 10 lakh rupees 2 lakh and tax rate applicable 30% computation rupees 2 lakh into 30% that is rupees 60000 so 
our total tax amount to rupees one lakh seventy two thousand five hundred. Now we will give rebate under section eighty seven a. Since our taxable income is greater than rupees five lakh, rebate under section eighty seven a will not be allowed. That is nil. Now we will add surcharge. Here our taxable income is less than rupees fifty lakhs. so there will be no surcharge so finally our tax amount 172500 now we will add health and education says 4% of 172500 that amounts to rupees 6900 so finally our tax liability amounts to rupees 179400 for an ssc of 50 years old now calculation of tax liability on taxable income of rupees 12 lakh if an ssc is 65 years old so here our ssc is a senior citizen and for senior citizen our basic exemption limit is rupees 3 lakh up to 3 lakh there will be no tax amount our second stage rupees 3 lakh 1 to rupees 5 lakh Difference amount rupees two lakh, tax rate five percent. So computation rupees two lakh into five percent tax amount rupees ten thousand. Our third range rupees five lakh one to rupees ten lakh. So difference amount taxable income rupees five lakh, tax rate apply applicable twenty percent. So computation five lakh rupees into twenty percent. tax amounts to rupees 1 lakh and next above 10 lakh above 10 lakh our taxable income is rupees 2 lakh that is rupees 12 lakh minus 10 lakh applicable tax rate 30% so computation rupees 2 lakh into 30% amounts to rupees 60000 so our total tax amount to rupees 1 lakh 70000 From this one lakh seventy thousand, we will give rebate under section eighty seven a as deduction. But our taxable income is rupees twelve lakh, which is greater than rupees five lakh. So rebate under section eighty seven is not allowed. Now we will add surcharge. But our taxable income rupees twelve lakh is less than rupees fifty lakh. So surcharge not applicable. That is. nil and finally we will add health and education says 4% of tax plus surcharge so here it is 170000 into 4% that amounts to rupees 6800 and our final tax liability amounts to rupees 176800 for the ssc 65 years old senior citizen now we will see calculation of tax liability on taxable income of rupees 12 lakh if an ssc is 81 years old here our ssc is super senior citizen and for super senior citizen our basic exemption limit is rupees 5 lakh so up to 5 lakh there would be no tax liability now second stage 5 lakh 1 rupees 2 rupees 10 lakh so difference over here is rupees 5 lakh and our tax rate 20% so computation 5 lakh multiply 20% our tax amount to rupees 1 lakh and final stage above rupees 10 lakh and above 10 lakh our taxable income is rupees 2 lakh and tax rate applicable is 30% so 2 lakh into 30% that amounts to 60000 so total tax amount to 1 lakh 60000 here rebate under section 87a will not be allowed because our taxable income is more than rupees 5 lakh same way there would be no applicable surcharge because our taxable income is less than 50 lakh and finally we will add health and education says 4% of 1 lakh 60000 that amounts to rupees 6400 
and our tax liability amounts to rupees one lakh sixty six thousand four hundred. In case of an SSC, eighty one years old super senior citizen. So like this, we can calculate various SSCs, uh, individual resident, senior citizen, and super senior citizen tax liabilities. Now we will solve another example. Here is the question: Compute tax liability of an individual, age fifty-three years, having a taxable income of rupees eighteen lakh for previous year twenty nineteen twenty. Here is the solution: Our SSC is fifty-three years old. That is individual resident. Calculation of tax liability on taxable income of rupees. 18 lakh since our ssc is individual resident our basic exemption limit would be rupees 2 lakh 50000 up to rupees 2 lakh 50000 there will be no tax our second stage would be 2 lakh 50000 12 rupees 5 lakh so our taxable income is 2 lakh 50000 the difference between two 2 lakh 50000 and applicable tax rate is Five percent. So computation to like fifty thousand multiply five percent. That is rupees twelve thousand five hundred. Our third stage is five lakh one rupee two rupees ten lakh. So our taxable income, the difference between two is rupees five lakh, and uh, applicable tax rate would be twenty percent. So computation five lakh multiply twenty percent. Tax amount to rupees. One lakh. Our final stage is about rupees ten lakh, and our taxable income is rupees eight lakh. That is eighteen lakh minus ten lakh, eight lakh. Applicable tax rate is thirty percent. So computation rupees eight lakh into thirty percent. That is two lakh forty thousand. So our total tax amount to rupees three lakh fifty two thousand five hundred. Now we will give. deductions of rebate under section 87a but our taxable income 18 lakh is more than rupees 5 lakh so rebate under section 87a will not be allowed that is nil now we will add surcharge but our taxable income 18 lakh is less than rupees 50 lakhs so surcharge will not be applicable that is nil so finally our tax amount 352000 500 now we will add health and education cess 4% on 352500 that amounts to 14100 and finally our total tax liability amount to rupees 366600 that's all dear students thank you very much for watching this video lecture very soon we will meet with another example in same chapter